what's going on guys it's your boy happy here now today i'm going to go over the top five games of 2015 for every single platform i'm so flattered Okay guys, so I usually don't do videos like this because I tend to stay away from other platforms such as Nintendo, such as Nintendo. <laughs> Basically because anything I put out that's Nintendo, it always gets flagged and I always make no sort of revenue for it. But today I was feeling kind of nice. So I said, you know what? It's a new year. What do we do with top five games of 2015? Now I'm going to go over every single platform. And again, these are my favorite games of 2015. That doesn't mean that they're the best games of 2015. In fact, I a lot of these are not the best games for 2015 so if you guys have your top best uh write them in the comment section below i'm gonna get that right out of the way so your top best right in the comment section below we're gonna start off with the wii u for the wii u i had to pick shockingly enough mario maker yes mario maker i had a ton of fun just playing this game over and over again playing everybody's levels and if you would have told me hey <laughs> i'm gonna give you a game where you make levels of mario and people play them i would have told you you're crazy that, that can't possibly be any fun but everybody's creative mind has made such an awesome game but when you put so many beautiful minds together to make these really intricate levels and games and everything it just makes for such an awesome game that i believe that this game deserved more than the praises it got it was a really awesome game next up is the 3ds for the 3ds i'm i'm gonna be honest with you guys i mostly play a lot of pokemon omega ruby and alpha sapphire again that is a 2014 game so i really can't say that that's the best game but that is what i played the most but if i have to give my top game of the year it will have to go to the legend of Zelda majora's mask 3d of course the legend of Zelda majora's mask 3d has to be like one of the best games out there it brought back everything that i love about the nintendo 64 majora's mask it made it that much better because you also get like a journal where you can write things down and all of that it was just overall a really awesome remaster of the original Zelda brought to a smaller unit you could say because it was brought to the 3D. For the PS4, I'm going to get so much heat for this. I just know I'm going to get so much heat. Especially in the year that games such as Fallout 4, Metal Gear Solid, and all these other games came out. But I want to give my top game to Guitar Hero Live. Yes, this game that I complained about having really bad equipment, I'm giving my vote for it this year. It was just so much fun. Like I, told, like I said in the video, I can't stop going back to it over and over again. And the fact that they made the three buttons at the top the three at the bottom makes it feel a lot more like you're actually playing a real guitar it is just like so intricate to play this game over and over again and find out new things like a new way to press the black and the white button at the same time brand new songs the crowd loving you or hating you that that put a lot of pressure on me i'm not gonna lie to you guys a lot of the times i was like why is the crowd hating me i'm doing great they should be loving me right now and that kind of pressure really made the game overall a different type of experience that i had than with other guitar heroes it's it's like learning the game all over again because you have black buttons and white buttons this time so when you're actually playing the guitar you know how sometimes you'll have like a string at the top a string at the bottom that's what it felt like it felt like you're actually playing an actual guitar and it was like overall a really awesome game for the xbox one again i don't have an xbox one obviously i don't at all but i happen to have gone to my friend's house and i played halo 5 guardian it is a really amazing game and again th this is i know it's a shock to a lot of you because i'm not into shooters at all you know i hate shooters because i really suck i have no aim and it, it, it's just a disaster every time i play shooters i'm literally that guy walking in the middle of nowhere and getting sniped by everybody because i really suck at shooters but halo 5 guardians was actually a really entertaining game i'm talking about from beginning to end the player versus player mode and all of that was just so much fun that it just kept me wanting to buy an xbox one in all honesty because of this game and i am not an xbox fan at all so xbox you did a great job of making halo 5 Guardians. and the last 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 the very last platform i'm gonna talk about is the pc and for this out of all the steam games that i bought yes i'm gonna base it off of steam i went with rocket league now i know you guys think oh my god there's so many better games out there than rocket league dude what are you talking about um gta 5 came out the witcher 3 wild hunt came out like all these other games came out how could you give it to rocket league because rocket league kept me coming back my boy 
I just kept coming back for that thing. It's so much fun. Like, I, I, I can't believe that this game is out here right now and not getting as much love as it is. I mean, and with my computer graphics and, and the 4K resolution on this, I don't even know if it's 4K, but it's really awesome on real engine 4 graphics on this game. Now, I'm gonna tell you the good things about Rocket League, okay? It was extremely fun to play. All right, it has crazy repairability. I'm talking about every single time that I went online, I, I, I was just like, oh man, I gotta get back to Rocket League, it's so much fun. It's also crazy how such a simple game could be so intricate. I'm talking about you have to run all the way down the field using your boost, and if you and if you use your boost uh, hard enough, you can blow up your enemy, and half the time, you don't know which way that soccer ball is gonna go because it has a mind of its own sometimes. Like, sometimes I know I would jump at it because I thought that, it, you know, it would bounce up and I would jump right over it like an idiot basically and they would make a goal on me. Also, all the hours that I spent in this game just leveling up to get brand new cars was something that I thought was really awesome about this game that the more you level up, the newer cars that you unlocked and things like that. That's really awesome because I love leveling up in games but this one actually gives you rewards as you level them up. And my favorite thing of course out of the whole things was destroying the opponent's car. Oh my god, you don't know how many times a dude would be like right after the soccer ball and I would just like do my boost and destroy him on the spot and he would just get so pissed i could tell that he would get so pissed and that would bring so much joy to my life i know it sounds a little bit sadistic but th that's just how much fun this game is i really 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 tell you guys go out there and get rocket league if you don't have it yet it's only like 12 bucks right now on steam if you don't have it by all means really go out there and get it it's a really awesome game okay guys so that's all i wanted to talk about for today i want to know what your top five games for the year are write them in the comment section below since you stuck to the end of this video i will pick one of you at random in the comment section below and i will be giving you a steam game away okay i'm not gonna tell you exactly what that game is as of yet but it's not a crappy game it's an actually really good game okay so just in the comment section below let me know what your top five games of the year were and you have a chance of winning yourself a steam game again i'm not gonna tell you which one it is <laughs> but i promise you i promise you I i'll give you a clue it's a square enix game okay it's a square enix game that's all i'm gonna say about it so again guys thank you so much for sticking around remember to subscribe for your latest and most up-to-date information about square enix Ratata. have a nice day i'm so flattered